The year is 2153. Alilian has been editing the script for their next YouTube video for 123 years. Jeff Bezos's cock rocket forces are closing in on the last strongholds of the free internet. If Lillian can't publish their silly Patreon announcement, all will be lost. The only hope to avert this disaster is for Lillian to broadcast their video back in time to the year 2024. And to pray that Jeff Bezos's forces won't be able to inject malicious signals into the broadcast. Lillian Prime, online. What is a Lillian? Part 1. The Voice Video. I've always liked making things on the internet, usually the things I make get seen by a tiny handful of people. YouTube was like that too, I had been making videos for fun and only a few of my closest friends saw them, but then I made this one video and yeah, my closest friends saw it, and then a few days later a whole lot of other people saw it too. Oh no, since that video, I feel like this little seedling suddenly appeared in my life. I've been trying to water it and take good care of it. All the while I've been wondering what kind of plant it's going to grow up to be. Taking care of this seedling has been taking a lot of time and effort. I have the kind of autism where I track how I spend every hour of every day in a spreadsheet, and yeah. Since November I've spent as many hours working on a Lillian things as I have on housework or maintaining my health. With that in mind, I think it is reasonable to ask myself, what am I doing? Like what is all this? Here's what I've come up with. I'm still not sure what the seedling is going to become, but I know something about A underscore Lillian. A Lillian is an online creator who just went from level 0 to level 1, and now they need to choose their class. There's a few likely options that they can choose. Option 1, A Lillian is a YouTuber. This is a logical direction to take things. Of everything I do, YouTube gets the most visibility. It would be sensible to double down on that and dedicate myself to sharpening my skills, learning to make more refined content and better thumbnails, and maximizing the click and view retention and rates, finding and finding new people to like and subscribe. And when I talk about these things, my partner bops me on the head. He bops me on the head because when I fret about these things, I make myself miserable and I'm just not myself. Back in December, I actually tried to be a YouTuber. I said I'm going to be a serious YouTuber and grow this seedling into a wild jungle with a gazillion subscribers. The weight of that expectation was so bad and my fear of failure was so immense that I ended up in bed not able to do anything for almost a whole week. I guess you can say that I speed ran my YouTuber burnout arc in about 4 weeks. Yeah. I don't want to follow that path. These days I don't look at the analytics at all anymore and I'm a lot happier for it. I just like having YouTube as an avenue for self-expression and as a way to find new people. Option 2, a Lillian is a Twitch streamer. So you may have noticed that my YouTube bio says this. What do I mean by that? Well you see, I actually started out as a Twitch streamer, but the rough thing about streaming on Twitch is that if you're just starting out, nobody watches your stream. So at some point you end up googling, how do I get Twitch followers? And the answer is to find an audience on some other platform like TikTok or YouTube and then bring them to your Twitch channel. So yeah, I did that and now I have a lively Twitch chat and hanging out with chat is some of the most fun I have every week. My Twitch chat horse, feels like bitch, I bagged horse, a bunch bitch, of gay and neurodivergent horse, raccoons horse, off YouTube horse, and put them in a tumble horse, dryer horse, together and it's amazing. Horse, you all are amazing. Horse. If you think this means my YouTube channel is a convoluted scheme to get you to hang out with me while I play VR Minecraft, then you would be exactly correct. But getting back to the garden metaphor, I think Twitch is kind of like YouTube where you're growing the sapling into a big sprawling jungle, except with Twitch you spend a lot of time actually in your garden because you're there live streaming. With YouTube you just kind of peek in on the garden every once in a while when you check your comments or analytics. I like spending time in my garden and I genuinely enjoy streaming so I think this is a good option. Option 3, a Lillian rolls a the cup. Option 3, a Lillian rolls a custom class. Of course, I could always do something entirely different. Something that would feel subversive. But that wouldn't disrupt the order too much. On Twitch, there's a step before partner called Affiliate. Affiliate gets you a sub button and emotes and things like that. 
If you can get 50 followers and average more than 3 viewers per stream, you're eligible for affiliate. I have somewhat exceeded those metrics, so why am I not a Twitch affiliate? It turns out that once you're affiliated, you have to run ads on your stream, and I don't like ads at all. So I've put it off for a long time and now whenever I look at my dashboard, it's just really funny to me. Just seeing this makes me imagine Jeff Bezos going. No, you can't just use my server architecture to stream for free forever. You need to get sucked into my content treadmill and force your viewers to watch Honda ads. Har har, free chat TTS goes If you wanted, you could think of me as a little internet rascal who is taking these big platforms for a ride. Basically, I'm using Twitch and YouTube's resources and instead of generating ad revenue for them, I'm using them to give back to the online gender and neurodivergent communities that have helped me so much. It's kind of like if I chose to never spend my skill points after going from level 0 to level 1. Like if Link just walked past the Master Sword, yet to abdicate this opportunity would be a desert. And this harmless act of rebellion is all I ever did. The end. What if it isn't? That's okay too. This video doesn't make any sense anymore. I don't make sense. How are you supposed to edit this? These scene notes hardly mean anything. It's, it's what, what I, I see in, in my head. head. The video has like for different endings at this point. I don't know how a Lillian ends. I don't know how a Lillian ends. I don't know what's going to become of this. I don't know if people will eventually get bored and move on from the things I make. I don't know if I have what it takes to be a good Lillian. And that's okay. All I know is that I want to try. Would it feel less scary if I put the other ending on Patreon instead? I think that'd be okay. I'm ready, if you are.